Hi, this is Scott with CrossBikeReview.com. I'm here in Salt Lake City, Utah at the Snowbird Resort at the Specialized 2013 Global Product Launch. We're going to talk about some uh, rubber today. And right over here we have their new tires and Ned Overend. You guys probably know who he is. Ned, hey, thanks a lot. Scott? Good race bet. last night. And it was getting there. My start was typically weak, as I do start in uh, cross races, and that one wasn't long enough to make up much ground. I know, it was only 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Fortunately, there was uh, a lot of flats, and people weren't used to the altitude, so that, that caught them off guard. So uh, worked my way on the podium. Anyway. Yeah, you did. So we're here to talk about some rubber. Tell us about the tread. You've actually had some direct involvement in the, the tread design for Specialized? Yeah, I, I work uh, advising the tire group. That's one of the things I do at Specialized, you know, especially in mountain bike tires, 2.9 tires, and most recently these three cyclocross treads, the Trigger, Tracer, and the Terra. That's a mouthful when you say it all. It the is. But uh, the Terra is our mud tire. And uh, what we do, and one thing I do, I go to a lot of races, I do a lot of racing myself, but I get feedback from our teams, uh, you know, especially Todd Wells, about uh, what tires they like, what kind of treads they like, what kind of tread they'd like to see, you know, what kind of volume they're looking for. Right. And then I bring that kind of feedback to the tire group. And uh, so we've done that with a mud tire. We decided to make three cycle cross tires. Mm -hmm. to, uh, cover most of the conditions. Right. We got a, uh, a kind of all-around tire in the tracer. Mm -hmm. And we, we kind of use things that we've learned from some of the mountain bike tires we've, we've made before. So you can kind of tell that the tracer uh, has a lot of similarities to the Renegade. So uh, we use the tracer. We use things we've learned from other tires we've made. And we've got a lot of race time on them, so we know how they handle and uh, we know their characteristics. You know what so they're going to be like and everything, then you just scale it down to the cycle across time. Exactly. Yeah, you know, so, so we're not, we don't get any surprises once we have the tire made. Surprises right? are kind of not a good yeah. thing to have. Yeah, only on birthdays. So we get the, the trigger. This looks like a really good tire. The trigger, the trigger is a uh, fast tire, and unlike some of the uh, more typical European fast file tread tires, we've got a bit of a side knob on the trigger because, you know, even if it's uh, if it's dry grass when you get over the corner, some of those tires, which are mainly just file tread with very little side knobs, uh, get pretty sketchy. And I noticed that, that the, the, the file tread pattern isn't just a it, it, it actually has some grooves to it. It actually has uh, some Right, it's got some direction, direction to it. Direction yeah, to it. Absolutely. It's it's a super fast rolling tire. It's a directional tire, and uh, you know, along with, with offering some traction in the center of the file tread, it actually is very fast rolling. So they come in 33s? Somewhere 33s. Like we made them all in 33s because, I, I mean, with, and we were fortunate that we made these right around the time when the UCI was changing the rules, right? And a lot of people had like, uh, 34 C tires and 30 C tires. You know, they were they were making two different sizes. Right. And what we did was make all of ours 33, so they're UCI legal, and uh, that way we didn't, you know, I mean, making a 30 C tire or a 29, something that is a mix size down, is really okay. So, so which one's your favorite? I end up using the uh, tracer. For, for most racing conditions. And I'll actually, you know, if the conditions are changing or if they're just certain sections on the course that are muddy, then the tracer actually hooks up pretty well and clears pretty well also. All right. So, uh, you know, for instance, I used at, at uh, Cyclocross Masters World, I used the Terra because it was just a deep slot fest for so much of the, the course. But uh, a lot of times in Colorado, I get away with just the tracer. Right? Well, there you have it, Ned's favorite tread. I'm Scott with CrossBikeReview.com. Thanks for coming by and seeing the reviews. We'll see you later.